So I have my mini down here, right? And he's crying. And today is Mother's Day. And because I'm a mother that is going to meet the needs of my children, I'm going to make his needs happen today. Today is Mother's Day and Happy Mother's Day to all the amazing mothers out there. I mean, even if you have not even bettered a child, but looking after other people's children, you are already a mother. Kaito is here crying for Joel Rice. <laughs> Kaito, what do you want? You say you want my... What? <laughs> See his face. Kaito, what do you want? Joel Rice. Joel Rice. <laughs> oh yeah, calm down. Wait, let me finish this intro. You guys, so the basket of tomatoes that we actually got yesterday, I am about to use it right now, blend it, section it, and put it inside the fridge. But I'm also going to use it to make Kaito's Jawa rice. <laughs> it's Jollof rice, it actually calls Jawa rice. So let's just head into the kitchen and happy Mother's Day to you guys. How are you celebrating your mother? And how are you, in fact, today is going to be a really chilled day for us because. We woke up with an incident at home that did not make us go to church. I definitely will talk about it maybe in another vlog, not this one, but yeah. You guys, let us let us head on with this one. Yellow pepper, a big green pepper that ends up becoming yellow pepper. A big red pepper. Hmm? Chicken is coming. We're the chicken. Which one will you not eat? Now? 
Burning. I put it to the highest now. This is what you call the smoky jollof rice. It's flaming up. I'll put up the fire. I will trap the the bun and the flame into the pot for at least three minutes before I open it up. And then you have your smoky jollof. So still in the the spirit of the motherhood celebration. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? I just got back from work and before I take off my wig, take off my makeup Ah, Kaima! So we are still in the spirit of Mother's Day but I just got back from work and I decided to sit there, sit here and have a chit chat with, with the mothers in my community that live in Nigeria and um, employ nannies in quotes I'm just gonna say nannies in quotes right this is me speaking to you as an intentional mother and as a learned mother for that matter right you guys will judge for my character by watching my videos that when it comes to my children um, I am very intentional when it comes to my children and my family I don't think that anybody can actually do or take care of my children more than myself but this brings me to what I'm about to speak to speak about right so there's a conversation I saw about a nanny that went and met her madam after three months of working and said that you know she was not going to work any longer for this couple reason being that the couple's children are stubborn and she does not want to raise her hands on them so she decided to leave right and yeah. it's for a lot of things you guys sorry excuse Kaima is here Kaima get down get down get down calm down give it to mommy it's falling it and it's for a lot of things in me hey guys they can hear you and a lot of and a lot of conversations as well right so you know what we practice here in this nigeria and we term these people nannies are actually not nannies people that we employ here in nigeria to help us look after our children and our home in our absence or in our presence are not nannies they are just people that are less privileged to not be able to afford the kind of lifestyle that you live or they're not even in your position they don't have that um what they call it privileges yes like you do they don't have the amount of exposure that you do they don't have the level of education that you have and they do these things to meet their basic needs their feeding their housing to support their families and all but they are not trained nannies now if you go outside the country and you want to actually employ a nanny like a proper child carer right a proper child carer and not just a cleaner because in nigeria what we do is that we employ one person to to that's the practice 
right one person will do the cleaning the washing the ironing the taking care of children and everything the things that you cannot do the things that frustrate you that you cannot do the things that if you do you come you see you complain how tired you are no you would employ one person to cut across all job descriptions for the same salary right but if you're outside the country you can you can try this and Aside that, outside the country, Daddy. you, yes, my love. Daddy. Yes, my love. Daddy. Food is ready. Kama, food is ready. Do you hear Kaito? Kama, food is ready. Kama, food is ready. I follow Kaito and go and eat. Go and eat. Go and eat. Go and eat. Go. You guys. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Don't carry her like that. Don't carry her like that. Don't carry her like that. It's okay. You guys, sorry, my children are here and I just want to wrap up. Oh, oh yeah, wait, hold on. Let me let me sort these children out. Okay, so they are leaving, right? I was saying that outside the country, if you are employing a nanny or a child carer, these people are trained child carers. These people have orientation. They are going through trainings. They've done trainings. They even have certifications of being a proper child carer or in the term nannies that we call them here in Nigeria. Now in Nigeria, we can just pick a random less privileged person and we feel like we can afford the person and pay the person. And you bring the person to your home. The person might not be skilled in taking care of children. Please, I hope you're listening to me. The person cannot, might not be skilled in taking care of children. The person's strength might either be for cleaning or the person's strength can either be for other things around the house. But that child care is not the person's strength. I know that sometimes we say, yeah, we train them to, but this is me just urging us that in Nigeria that our system have allowed to employ just anybody and bring to the house and term nanny when you have these people in your home make sure make an effort as much as possible don't give them hundred percent control of or don't give them hundred percent allowance of taking care of your children baiting your children feeding them taking them to school doing basically everything for them and this is also me talking to people that are in the positions and are privileged as well to say if you employ a nanny to take care of one two three children just one nanny employ cleaners or employ like you know i don't know how to explain it to you that you would you would get it like one person cannot do everything that you cannot do trust me no matter how much you are increasing their salary no matter how much you are thinking they are going to be loyal to you and all yes i understand though there are a lot of them that come with you know silly attitude silly behaviors i mean i have had girls that are good with keeping the surroundings clean but are not good with taking care of the children like and those things are i don't really like bat an eyelid for it because my children once i'm back from work you're with me till you fall asleep <laughs> You're with me if I'm not going out of the house or we are going together to go and buy one or two things. You're with me till you fall asleep. So I know, like I literally creep in, I follow you bumper to bumper around the house. I want to know. This is just me, you know. You guys know that my pregnancies were not easy, my deliveries were not easy. I suffered to have these children and I'm not going to just totally 100% leave them for anybody to take care of them for me like <laughs> i will be involved in doing all of these things but regardless i'm just saying that we are not employing nannies in nigeria we're just employing less privileged people that don't have the privileges as us to actually run their homes and you know be able to afford the good things of life that they don't have most of these people come from village they don't have any experience with taking care of children there is no experience taking care of children there's no experience in doing any housework but 
most of the things that we will just say is oh you're in my house you're eating my food you are doing this you are doing that you're doing that you just want to pick somebody that does not even have the zeal to do the work is not learning enough to do the work doesn't have any experience in doing the work but i know that experiences grow what's making guys to cry you push they are dragging chair one person wants to sit down on the, ah on the high chair i don't even know how to settle but this is just me you know coming to say this on here that you know as um parents i'm not just going to say only mothers as parents we have to be ca you don't want to worry about your children you are going to worry about your children but spend time taking care of your children spend time being involved and let me also state this that you guys if you pay attention to your children sometimes you realize that the nanny is not the problem the children are really really stressing these people trust me um time will not permit me i'll give you like an elaboration of what happened you know what happened and thank god i actually watched it to see that ah, ah that's so this person did not touch you why did you come and tell me that until this person touched you i'm like that's so this person did not touch you why did you come and tell me miss uh, this person bites your hand like why don't do that mommy didn't train you up to be a liar you know i would give you like i will elaborate on it but if you check very well your children in some cases are the ones stressing these people stressing them because they can see you shout at these people in front of them children are very smart too they're very smart and manipulative they can see you shout for these people correct these people they, they just think to themselves that, ah this person is beneath my mommy like this person is saying uh, beneath my mommy so let me show my power small you know as i'm you know growing in this motherhood thing in this wifey who thing i know i'm learning i'm open to learning i'm open to changing different ways of reasoning and thinking and this is just me coming to just share like a snippet of what i have realized and you know things that i would also i am doing things differently in my home but i can do things even more better you know more better does it sound like a, a good english i can do things even better right yeah this sounds like a better english but anyways guys this is what i just said let me sit down and have a conversation with you. share me your thoughts in the comment section this is me thinking out loud sharing it with you guys share me your thoughts in the comment section i have my plate of food here <laughs> i have my plate of food here i came back i didn't eat in the office because i've kept kaito for so long in school so i came back and I just brought my food back and I said I'll just put it inside the plate and eat it. But anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'd love to hear your contribution in the comment section. And I definitely will see you guys in my next one. Like, share, subscribe and bye.